The scale of Pakistan's education crisis is mind-boggling. Nearly half of school-aged children here don't go to school at all. Trying to rectify the dire state of Pakistan education is a daunting challenge in a country with a population of about 200 million. The literacy rate is 48%. Fewer than half the people of Pakistan can read or write. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Five, six, pick up a stitch. Seven, eight, lay them straight. Nine, ten, a your hand. And this neighborhood is especially daunting. This is school number one, run by the Citizens Foundation, TCF, in Machar Colony, a densely populated, extremely poor fishing community near Karachi Port. There are pools of sewage overflowing onto the main street in some places, which children have to get past on their way to school and back. Here's the principal of school number one, Zakia Maksud. Start from one unit, and then ये मच्छर कॉलोनी का ऐसा एरिया कि यहाँ पे लोगों को एजुकेशन के बारे में बिल्कुल भी अवेयरनेस नहीं थी। Before this school was built, she tells me there was no school at all for the children of Machar Colony. When this one came, word spread, and there are now four foundation schools here. बिल्कुल low cost. Low cost for parents is key to TCF's mission. Average monthly school fees are one dollar and fifty cents. Or entirely free for parents who qualify. My name is A. My name is A. And I say A. And I say A. A A A A. The children all have to wear a smart, light khaki uniform. It's cost subsidised if necessary, means tested by TCF. Over the past 20 years, the foundation has established 1,000. 441 schools in Pakistan. We've got 204,000 children studying from our network of schools. That senior TCF manager Neelam Habib. The foundation's schools are approximately 50-50 girls and boys. Crucially, they all have toilets. Many government schools don't. In rural areas, this can deter some girls from attending school at all. Girls need to go. So when they need to go, where do they go? They can't go in the fields. Boys can go in the fields. So a boy needs a pee, goes in the field. A girl can't go and have a pee in the field. She just has to hold it. It's a serious problem. And all your schools have separate stalls for girls in a separate floor, which overcomes another deterrent to girls going to school. Parents fearing that boys will disrespect the girls near the toilets. And the schools are all close to the centre of their communities, so girls don't have to walk far on their own to get to their classes. Teachers are all female. Okay, class. Now tell me, what is this? Tree. This is a tree. Tree. Okay. What can we write about this tree? This is noun. Okay. Tell me any sentence about this tree. This is a big and uh, small trees. Grammar में किस चीज को कहेंगे? मतलब grammar के कौन से part of speech में आएगा? जिसे big Small, adjective, adjective, exactly. This is a lovely, warm-hearted school full of beautiful, enthusiastic, friendly children, and there are encouraging signs, handwritten, on the walls here and there. Lovely one here. Work hard in silence. Let success make the noise. The most glaring crisis is the fact that. 24 million children of school-going age are not in school right now, and that is TCF Vice President Zia Akhtar Abbas, who left his job as a banker to work for the Citizens Foundation at half his previous salary. His motivation: to help provide an alternative for poor Pakistan parents who can't afford private schools and so have to choose between low-quality state schools or madrasas with free food and lodging. But manipulative religious instruction. The vast majority of children here lack the opportunity to to even study the basics. Most madrasas do not offer a well-rounded education that has to do with this modern world that we live in. It is purely focused on religious education. And why would parents choose not to send their children to a government school? Teachers uh, do not arrive at work. When they do come to school, they do not teach. 
many kids spend years and years having not undergone no education. Now, are you talking about exceptions or is that generally true, what you've just told me? It is me? true for the large majority of government schools, unfortunately. There is a lack of proper governance and management which causes schools to be dysfunctional and the quality to be abysmally poor. That may sound like self-serving criticism, but it's confirmed by statistics published by the Education Ministry. And the Citizens Foundation has been so successful that the government now subcontract them to manage several of their own state schools. The foundation is also recognised and supported by the British Department for International Development. TCF relies to a great extent on donations. Pakistani and international donors believe that they're investing in steering children away from schools where they may be taught rigid adherence to religious texts without learning the skills to analyse what they're being taught objectively in order to avoid being unwittingly radicalised by extremists. <laughs> 